Alright, what I've done is I've started out with a size 6 uh, Dairiki 700 and I've bent it in the shape you see here. Uh, and you want to be really careful bending this. Uh, you can see I did it in two different spots to come up with this degree. Uh, because this rear half we're going to want to physically sink underneath the water. And I've got a flat part up on the top here where all of our uh, parachute's going to go. So attach your thread. And for now, it's actually going to be easier to lay the hook straight. And I'm going to take a piece of braided line. This is uh, spider wire, but any, any braided line will work as long as it's thin enough to fit through the eye of the hook. For my stinger hook, it's going to be a Dairiki 125 size 12, and it's basically an emerger hook. The important thing is to make sure it has a straight eye, so it hangs straight. So I'm going to thread my braid it through. And tie it in. So for now, just make a couple wraps to tie it in, and then you can pull it tied against your thread. And wrap the braid up a ways. I usually wrap it to the first bend here. Secure it really well. And double it back over itself. And clip it off. Cut my thread. Okay. Now we're going to tie in our egg sack. It's just going to be black foam. Cut a small section of foam, tie it in, double it over, and tie it off. Tying my tails, goose buyout fork tails, one on either side. Now I'm going to tie on some orange scud back. This is quarter inch. Uh, you can also use body stretch or any of the same <clears throat> material, it's all the same stuff. And I'm going to fold it in half, and I'm going to tie the folded end pointing up on the hook. And this will ensure that when I wrap this for my body, that the fold will be actually pointed towards the back and create that segmentation. And for the body dubbing, I'm going to use a burnt orange. You don't want too bright of an orange on these salmon flies. If you look at the real thing, there's actually just as much brown in these as orange. I'm going to dub my body. And at this point, I can actually move my hook a little up. Now I'm going to make one wrap with my scud back here. 
I'm just gonna take a little of this dubbing out. Pull it back, make another wrap. Okay, then <clears throat> tie off that body stretch when you get there. Now I'm going to move my hook. So now I'm vertical. So now I'm going to tie my wing. This is web wing. So I'm going to take a long piece, fold it over. And round the edges. I'm going to tie it in, extending just a little past my egg sac there. Tying just a few strands of black crystal flash. Clip it even with the wing. And now for my over wing, I'm going to use black elk. So I've just stacked it and I'm pulling out some of the broken tips and fuzz. I'm going to lay my elk hair flush with my underwear. Tie it in. Tied on all the butts. And there's my wing. Now I'm just going to take a piece of orange foam and tie it in. Tie a piece of foam on top of the elk and then tie it down. So for the parachute post, we're going to have a uni bobber distributed through hairline. And the, the way these work is they've got a hole in them. You just slide it up over the eye of the hook and figure eight it in. just to make a traditional post. And I moved my thread back to this foam here. Actually, I'm going to trim this down just a little bit. And at this point, I'm going to tie in my set of legs. And I'm just using black flexi floss. Tying a set on either side. Now I'm going to tie my hackle. You can use 
all sorts of different hackles. This is just a brown variant. I'll size it before I tie it in. That's a good size there. Grizzly works, brown works, variant works, whatever. Whatever you can get your hands on actually anymore. So I'm going to strip the stem. Tie it in. I'm going to tie it up the parachute post. And now I'm going to add some more dubbing. Behind the legs, in front of the legs. And I figure eight it under my bar. I'm going to wrap my parachute. Oops. Tie it off. Clip it. I'm going to tie in a little piece of foam for the head here. Lift it up. Just a little bit more dubbing to cover your thread wraps. Now, I'm just going to whip finish it. Put my head down a little bit and round it off. Trim the legs down. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like on the underside, and in a minute I'll show you what it's going to look like in the water. The last step is we take it out of the vise and we gotta trim our main hook. Be really careful doing this. The easiest way I found is to put the needle nose on the hook and slide it up. Being really careful not to cut any of your material. So what I do is I'll notch it and I'll just break it off. That also saves a hook point from going flying across the room. And this is the Stonehenge salmon.